I'm having problems checking my Nia. So I was wondering if you guys have ever had that problem where once you started getting famous on YouTube and people start recognizing you and stuff like that. So how do you basically ground yourself in a system like that? I used to think that sincerity is something like is simple, but it is very hard and it's it's not like a switch that you just turn on and off. We're human beings and we all have this. We are happy when someone becomes a Muslim and our part in it. We hope Allah rewards us for that. But ultimately, we are a tool that Allah is using for his outcome. If he wishes to, he can replace us anytime. If Allah was to make all of my sins open to the people, would the people even hear my dawah? The reality is they wouldn't. We are only where we are because Allah has concealed yeah. our thoughts and he has concealed our sins from the people. Mashallah, I had my first shahada last Saturday. Alhamdulillah. Um, I, Alhamdulillah, I felt blessed. I felt happy for the brother. But I think uh, I'm having problems checking my niya with uh, all of this, if that makes sense. Basically, I, I felt good about myself. Uh, but I think it kind of takes you into a headspace where you kind of think of yourself as a, I don't know, maybe a know-it-all or a big man. So I was wondering if you guys have ever had that problem where uh, once you started getting uh, famous on YouTube and people start recognizing you and stuff like that. So how do you basically ground yourself in a system like that? Inshallah. Brother Nazam, I'm going to ask you first, how, how do you deal with all your fame and all the fans that keep uh, hounding you? What do you do? Um, I, I don't take it seriously. So if I'm going to be serious, then, um, yeah, I don't take it seriously. Um, you know, I, I appreciate the sentiment and... Um, for me, it's just an opportunity to kind of like make someone feel happy and feel good about themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, but, um, you know, Allah knows my shortcomings and weaknesses. And um, yeah, um, you know, the, the, the question itself is something that um, myself, you know, I struggle with. I used to think that sincerity is something like is simple. Uh, but it is something like it is very hard and it's, it's not like... Um, it's like a switch that you just turn on and off, uh, but it's, yes. it's something that you you know you you, you try to strive and um, you have to um, renew your intentions. Like you have to check your intentions when you begin um, in the middle and also in the end, and also make um, istighfar as well. Like uh, try to make regularly um, istighfar, um, seeking forgiveness um, from Allah for your shortcomings and mistakes um, that you do knowingly and unknowingly. Um, and, and the other thing is also to do with like, you know, something I struggle with uh, is with hasad or, or jealousy as well. Um, and um, for, for that, um, try to like um, read books that are devoted to tazkiya, uh, you know, spiritual like self-development. Um, so th there's a book I can't remember now. Um, like Sheikh Hamza Yusuf, he's written a book on the heart. I've not read it, but mm -hmm. people have um, highly recommend it or, 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 or praise it. Um, so I would recommend like also, you know, seeking knowledge of, of doing Tazkiya. Um, but but don't, don't like seek knowledge um, like just so that you could impress people or sh show off people exactly. like, you know. Yeah, yeah, that book. Thank you, brother Abbas. Yeah. And um, I actually have Brother Khalid's copy, which I've had for 10 years, and I still haven't read it. But by the way, I, I, I have the book, but I've read very little of it, so I'm not oh, showing off. That's uh, more than me, yeah, so yeah. yeah. I think I've, I've now put it to one side, so I think you've reminded me to, to read yeah. it as well. Um, and so, um, yeah, so tr try to seek knowledge, not because you want to, like, boost like so you can win an argument or a debate with someone uh but but you're seeking knowledge first of all like for your own benefit um yeah, and um yeah it's just essentially it's basically to, just reminding yourself yeah. that you're doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the end of the day yes exactly yeah and right, be steadfast in your prayers and um you know remember that guidance tawfiq is from Allah um, you cannot guide someone, and um, yeah. Okay. Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah khair. Uh, uh, Abu Bakr, I, I just, ask. I just, I just like to ask the doctor as well to add anything to that. No problem, no problem. Please. There's actually an eye in the Quran about this. Um, in fact, if you look, read um, the Surah Al-Nasr, 
إذا جاء نص yeah. الله والفات. والفات. Yeah. Um, the one, the 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 second eye is uh, when you see the people and talking to popular people. When you see the people embracing Allah's way in crowds. Yeah. And then it tells Allah tells you what to do. So what's the next yeah. ayah, brother? فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِكَ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ Glorify the praises of your Lord. Alhamdulillah. Someone becomes Muslim. Alhamdulillah. And then you seek for forgiveness. Allah, forgive me yeah. for my short. As, okay. as Brother Nazim said, but this is Allah is telling us, subhanAllah, to praise Him and seek forgiveness. Because this is from Allah, purely. And I think that um, we... We're human beings and we all have this. We are happy when someone becomes a Muslim and our part in it. We hope Allah rewards us for that. But ultimately, we are a tool that Allah is using for his outcome. And yeah. uh, if he can, if he wishes to, he can replace us anytime. Anytime. And it's not, and it's something yeah. really, I mean, when I read this uh, surah, even in my uh, salah, sometimes if I'm doing quickly, I read... Very powerful because this is success. But Professor, Professor Sam is being told when you have success, people are coming to the religion in crowds, afwaja, crowds, forces, armies of people are coming to Islam. What should you do? You yeah. praise Allah and you seek forgiveness. And this is really what we have to really just internalize that. So, as Brother Nazim was saying, uh, there's lots of you know the uh, ways of purifying the heart. In fact, some of the in the previous times the scholars used to sit and learn how to purify themselves uh, yeah. spiritually how to be how to they would learn how to perfect their manners and this is all this is all so part of the building your character and yeah. uh, ultimately this is a journey because it's not you can't be done overnight it's a journey and part of that journey is internalizing so when you're doing your tadabbar of the quran and you're reading things and you come across these verses i mean this is powerful subhanallah if the prophet peace be upon him is being told so that when these people come and they accept uh, the deen, you have to yeah. praise me and you have to seek forgiveness for yourself. Subhanallah, this is who are we then? Where are we in this? So we have to try and internalize sure. this. And don't sure. be worried, inshallah, because the fact that you're concerned about this is a sign of your iman. May Allah make it easy for you and, and for us all. And God is always closer to His truth, inshallah. This and is something that has stopped me from doing that dawah for a couple of years and fine. Yeah, yeah I mean, get over it and start now. Yeah, and Abu Bakr, you know what it is? Everybody will get whispers from time to time that oh, you're doing a great job, or or or, or, or the or the dawah was very good, or somebody commented on your dawah that mashallah, your dawah is very good. Uh, what I find very useful is um, I just remind myself. That if Allah was to make all of my sins open to the people, yeah. would the people even hear my dawah? Yeah, I agree. The reality is they wouldn't. And yeah. if Allah was to disclose all of my thoughts to the people, would the people even offer me any dignity or respect? Never, yeah. And they wouldn't. And that's our position, brother. Mm. We We are only... Yeah. Where we are, because Allah has concealed yeah. our thoughts and He has concealed our sins from the people. Yeah. So that's the first thing. I just remind myself that if Allah was to disclose all of this, yeah. nobody would even come and shake your hand. That's the reality for most of us, if not sure. all of us, brother. For sure. The second thing is, we need to remind ourselves that the the the, the oh the brothers dropped out, but. Um, the very ability, the physical ability to give dawah, the mental ability to give dawah, the spiritual ability to give dawah, the knowledge that you have somehow retained, um, the brother's back again. And the other thing I remind Sorry. myself with, brother, is that the, the very body, the body, the physical strength to be able to give dawah, the mental strength to be able to give dawah, the spiritual strength to, or maturity to be able to give any type of dawah, yeah. all of that, and even the very inspiration to give the dawah in the first place is all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anyway. So then in reality, what can yeah. I claim for myself, really? 
So the, the fact that you get, yep. uh, you may get um, these whispers, it's just a co constant battle to remind yourself of really who you are and wh what you are. And as, as Dr. Imran Mashallah very, very beautifully has shown through the Quran itself that seek forgiveness, subhanAllah. You know, you're just giving dawah to somebody, somebody's coming into Islam. And what you have to do yourself is, Ya Allah, forgive me For sure. and have mercy upon me. Um, and that's that's a beautiful thing because that reminds us yeah. of who we actually are, what we are, what's our position. Um, may Allah accept it, inshallah, from us. And But what you should never do is don't allow these type of whispers to stop you giving dawah because this could be from shaitan as well remember so yep. so continue that continue the dawah and and as brother nazam said continue working upon uh your spiritual growth inshallah and uh, and your approach to the dawah and, and 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 continue with that and you know sometimes we will fall we will make mistakes sometimes we might begin to feel we have to quickly address that we have to quickly yeah. resort back to our uh, uh, you know our uh, default position which is that yeah. everything is from allah uh, you know and if, if it, you know allah does not need me or need anybody to spread islam if allah wants to allah can spread it all by himself but he has honored honored me by giving me the opportunity to do this and it's a gift of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purely a gift of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sure for sure